السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن شاء الله we'll be restarting the hadith of the day on Tuesdays and Wednesdays I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Tuesdays and Wednesdays we took a break for Ramadan and inshallah we'll restart so today's hadith is by Abu Huraira radiallahu an. He narrates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna Allah ta'ala la yanduru ila ajsamikum wa la ila suwarikum wa amwalikum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not look at your ajsam, your bodies, wa la ila suwarikum, not your faces or the way you look, wa amwalikum, nor your wealth. Notice the examples that the Prophet ﷺ is giving over here. These, he could have given so many different examples. But the things that he pointed out are such things that we tend to give the most, you know, most of our attention towards. Most of our focus is on that. And why? Many times because these are the things that people will see. These are the things that people will look at. These are the things that will catch others, other, other people's attention, right? Whether it be, you know, uh, our body, the way we look. You know, people go to the gym. And this is not, of course, this is not everyone's intention. But there are, majority of the intention is many times is because of that, right? We want to make sure that we look good. Ila suwarikum, uh, similarly with our faces, you know, whether it be, you know, whether it be makeup, whether it be the way we, you know, our haircut, the way we do our lineup, whatever it may be. Similarly, wa amwalikum, you know, our wealth. Many times it's used to, you know, to to show that this, you know, I have a nice car or I have a nice house. And these these diseases can creep up within the heart. Again, I'm not generalizing. I'm not saying that this is why it's done, but this is many times the case um, if the disease ends up coming into our hearts. Now Allah, Rasulullah is saying that all of that stuff that you know, we're focused on and our attention goes towards and our time and our, our brain power, all of that, Allah is not going to look at any of that. None of that stuff is going to matter. Then he says, وَلَكِنْ يَنْظُرُ إِلَىٰ قُلُوبِكُمْ وَأَعْمَالِكُمْ Rather, he's going to look at the heart. He's going to look at your heart and the condition of the heart. What is in that heart? Is there taqwa? Is there, you know, is there the, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is there, what, how, what's the strength of the iman? What is the strength of the intention? Is the ikhlas there? Is it complete ikhlas? Is it partial ikhlas? Right? And similarly with our actions, the same thing. What kind of actions were we performing? Were they good or bad? Were they for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If so, how, you know, how were they performed? Were they performed with khushu? Were they performed with the proper tahara? Were they performed with the right intention? Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to look at this. Right? As, as the Quran tells us, right? In akramakum and Allahi atqaakum. It's not, you know, the person who is the closest to Allah is the person who is, uh, you know, who is Indian, or a person who is Arab, or a person who is black, or a person who is white, or a person who has this much in the bank, or a person who has nothing in the bank. That's not how it goes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not concerned about that. He's concerned about our taqwa. He's concerned about our, you know, how we are living our life. Are we living according to the akhirah? Are we living according to the dunya? Are we living according to the sunnah? Are we living opposed to the sunnah? All right. How is our akhlaq? How is our character? How is, the, you know, how, which, which concerns do we carry? Are we worried about the ummah? You know, are we worried about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's uh, concerns that he had for the Ummah, we, do we have those same concerns? These are the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look at. Ultimately it boils down to our intention, our niyyah, our ikhlas, you know, our, you know, um, our iman. These are the, it boils down to this. This is what the, like the basics, the foundation of our deen is. And this is what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reminding us. Uh, the, the author mentioned this, uh, this is like the eighth hadith. So right in the beginning, that whenever we start anything, whenever we are, uh, you know, one of the most important factors is 
our, what are we showing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not showing to others. That's what this hadith is telling us, that whenever we are focused on other people, don't focus on that stuff. Focus only on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's what matters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to cleanse our intentions, protect us from riya and you know, showing off and pride and arrogance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that humility. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cleanse our hearts. Ameen. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك اللهم انت السلام ومنك السلام وتبارك ذا الجلال والاكرام ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا انفسنا وان لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم ات نفوسنا تقواها وزكها انت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم طهر قلوبنا من النفاق وألسنتنا من الكذب وأعمالنا من الرياء وأعيننا من الخيانة فإنك تعلم خائنة الأعين وما تخفي الصدور اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاد منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأنت المستعان وعليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين ورحمتك يا رحمة